hello everyone you are most welcome again on my channel today we are going to do two more literary terms one is antithesis and second one we will be doing aporia so if you have not watched my previous videos please do check if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you like my videos and if you want to study English literature with me let's see the definition antithesis 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 means opposite literally means opposite is matlab hota hai opposite it is a rhetorical device in which two opposite ideas are put together in a sentence to achieve a contrasting effect now let's see the example we find antithesis in john dunn's poem community good we must love and must hate till hate ill so hate and love you can see here for ill is ill and good good is still but there are things indifferent which may either hate or love nor love but one and then other another proof as we shall fi find our fancy bent so it is clear that we have opposite ideas in the same line sometimes or in same paragraph or some contrasting ideas we have agar aapko kuch bhi contrasting opposite ideas ek samne dikhai dete hain to hum usually use antithesis mante hain now let's see aporia Aporia is a figure of speech wherein a speaker purports or expresses doubt or perplexity regarding a question often feigned and asks the audience how he ought to proceed the doubts may appear as rhetorical question often in the beginning of the text so it is kind of a rhetorical question and if you don't know rhetoric what is rhetorical question it means so wh whoever is asking the question he is not in search of the answer rhetorical question ek is tarah ka question hota hai ki jahan par ki hum question to puchte hain but we don't want answer because answer is quite clear so let's see this one aporia is a logical paradox in which the speaker sh sows seed of doubt on a subject this rhetorical strat strategy can make the audience feel sympathetic towards the speaker regarding the dilemma he is in now here is an example american buffalo by david mamet we have a deal with the man with fletcher yes we had a deal with bobby what does that mean nothing i don't no what did you mean by that i didn't mean a thing you didn't no so now let's see the example the above excerpt is an example of aporia to illustrate a great deal of doubt in so the idea of aporia is about aporia if we are finding aporia we have an option and if we get some doubts in the paragraph or in an uh, excerpt we get the literary term aporia there the road not taken by robert frost we all know this one and uh, this is actually a very famous poem in the last two lines in the given poem the poet uses aporia which is self contradictory so now self contradictory and the another word you need to remember about aporia is doubt deadlock that cannot be resolved in the text similarly the poem they so now doubt and we uh, here is the last one i took the less traveled by and that has made all the difference most of people think that this is positive thing in the poem but actually that was negative okay so and uh, this is also assumption it is not quite clear about the thought so if you have doubt if you have uh, self contradictory deadlock or uh, uh, the thing there you get aporia I hope both the things are clear with the help of examples we studied. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care. See you in next video.